a new turn of events in the death of Christine Wood. Brett Overby, who is accused of second degree murder, has admitted to killing Wood in the summer of 2016, but says she attacked him with a knife first and he blacked out during the altercation. The second week of Overby's trial got underway today and the accused took the stand. In his testimony, he told the court he met Christine on the dating app Plenty of Fish. The two went out for drinks before going back to Overby's house. Once there, the two reached out to Wood's cocaine dealers. Overby says they were both pretty intoxicated and they had sex on his couch. Overby says Wood then asked for condomless sex so she could have his babies. He replied no. A short time later in the kitchen, she punched him in the face saying she just wanted to see what he would do. According to Overby, the two had sex again, but Wood ripped the condom off. He testified he felt he'd been raped. He says Wood then asked for sex again, and when he said he was out of condoms, she punched him with a knife in her hand. Overby says Wood attacked him and he blacked out. The next thing he says he remembers was Wood lying face down in a pool of her own blood. The Crown focused in on the fact Overby seemed to remember everything about the night clearly, minus the death of Wood, and three photos taken of the two of them on his couch. They argued why a strong man couldn't have just removed her from on top of him when he became worried and asked her to leave. The prosecution says she thinks he wanted a hookup, and when he failed to get Wood drugs, she refused sex, and that angered him. On day two of the trial, Wood's drug dealer Sue Wong testified that he recalled Wood starting a fight at a party in the past and that she had a weird temper and was, quote, bipolar. The prosecution stated that she believes Overby may have also had two sides to him. Two witnesses brought to the stand in the late afternoon that had both met Wood on the dating site and began a form of a relationship said Wood had hit both of them, including one of them with a gaming controller that cut open his ear. Wood's body was found in a field east of Winnipeg nine months after her death. Today, Overby admitted to wrapping her in plastic and burying her. Overby also admitted to lying to police when they first asked him if he knew Wood. Closing arguments are set to take place tomorrow at 10 o'clock. We'll have more details for you after that. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.